I'm kind of sick, so I don't know if I can really do the thing. <clears throat> I just got the idea to use this little camera because you know how I'm always like holding stuff up to you guys and can't even read it. How's it looking? You guys ready to have a wild time? Now you guys get a good chance to see how stupid vloggers actually look while they're filming. Not that I have anything against vloggers, but have you ever seen them trying to act like they're actually concerned with what they're looking at and they're like, oh yeah, dude, how's it going? You're pretty, yeah, that was a pretty cool thing that you did. You also get to see what the heck I'm looking at for these alpha males. <laughs> All right, here we go. Coming to you live from the, I don't know, bunch of boxes of expired stuff because I took way too long to do this episode. Welcome to the 11th ever episode Alpha Mail where I open up all the mail you guys have sent to me. Probably have as many packages as I normally have letters and packages. So excuse me if I don't do letters in this episode, but you guys know I'll always read your letters on my own time. Let's jump right into this after that entire intro. This one's from Oakland, Michigan. Ew. By the way, I've been so busy with school stuff that I'm just going to send this on uh, 9 3 16. If my math is correct, that was more than a few minutes ago. Wait, there's a sticker on here somewhere. Oh, is this a school tattoo? Ah, dang, that is a big ring. What the heck is it made of? Maybe if I put this behind my bottle opener ring, it'll stay on there. Do I look like a pimp yet? No, I just look like an alcoholic. Okay, wow, what? Boy, he's sending me these wingdings. I purposely didn't go to school so that I would never have to learn how to do stuff that I'll never use in my life. How am I supposed to read wingdings? Moving into college today, can't wait for that crossbow. Ugh. Please say on YouTube or Instagram if the ring fits. It really does almost fit. It's a little bit loose, but I have lost a little bit of weight since the last time you sent me some rings. This is from that Bigfoot Makes Rings guy. One of my most loyal alpha male senders. And my fingers have gotten a little bit skinny over the last couple of weeks. I just got a little a little bit tired of all this, you know? And plus, with all this leafy stuff going on, I gotta find as many ways to define my chin as possible. Apparently, I said wingdings would be fun. Let's see if there's human letters in here. Okay, so it was made out of a 1964 half dollar, so this thing's vintage as heck. It's stamped with Z not Alpha. That it is, that it is. And because it's silver, it'll make you even cooler in the apocalypse. Anyways, excuse me if I'm paraphrasing these things a lot. I've got a lot of stuff to go through, obviously. But he ends off the letter by saying, I know your alpha male has been getting a lot longer, but I wanted to give you some encouragement by the way, you don't have to put this whole letter in alpha mail because even though it's only one page long, it's probably one of the longer letters I've sent you. And that's saying something because I am a man of many words. I'll be starting college in the fall, so I'll be telling lots and lots of people about your channel. I would, I would not oppose that. Stay awesome, Eli. Until the end, sir. Bigfoot makes rings. I wonder if there's like some sort of thing that I can like scan this on and get it translated from wingdings into English. There's probably like a secret message in there. I'm setting that one aside, boy. I think this is a tattoo, actually. Uh, finally, I've been wanting to get a tattoo for so long. And this is especially good because I've always been a big supporter of Ray Charles. When the night right up my alley, sir. Thanks for the letter, Bigfoot. This one's from Amina from Brooklyn. Oh shoot, this is gonna be a tough package. I hope it's like a baseball bat or something, or like the head of a horse. Okay, okay, not a bad start. I'm still waiting on the horse head, but some watermelon sour patch kits are always good. Hey Eli, I'm gonna be completely honest and say I've only discovered your videos recently. than I wanted it to be, but I guess it's on me forever. You gotta make commitments sometimes, guys. Ooh, that was some cool artwork. I wanna say that until after I read the letter. I'm gonna be completely honest and say I've only discovered you recently, but I can easily understand the connection your viewers have to you. For some reason, it's extremely refreshing watching your videos, and I've gotta thank you for the effort you put into them. 
problem. It might be because we're polar opposites in some aspects that it always has more meanings that we share when we share similarities, which is rare. It means a lot to me that there's a three foot two bald kid out there somewhere that I can look up to. Every single time anybody asks me how tall I am and how much I weigh, I always say three foot two, 550 pounds. You would not believe how many kids are like, Wow, Eli, even I'm taller than you. If those were my actual stats, I would be like made of neutron star material. I'm not 550 pounds, I'm only 400, but let's not. Wait, go back one. What do you say? I'm not 550 pounds, I'm only 400. I don't think anybody knows it was Russia that broke into the DNC. She's saying Russia, 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 but it also could be somebody sitting on their bed that weighs 400 pounds, okay? And when talking about the art where she says, I couldn't find any high quality photos for reference, so I did the best that I could. Please ignore the cutout on the left side. I hecked up and I admit I hecked up. I also threw in the original sketch too. Before I show it, I did get a drop of water on there for my sick tat. So if it looks a little weird, like there's a uh, drop of water on it, it's cause there is. Let's do this. Whoa, what? Oh shoot, wow, it's even face detecting on my camera. Oh, that is so sick, dude. Oh my gosh. If I ever make a comic book about me, I'm gonna hire you to draw all the pictures, okay? Dude, that is intense. Oh shoot, here's the painting. Dang. I look like a thug, man. Not that I'm not a thug, but you know, I, I look especially like a thug in this picture. She emphasizes the smallness of the karambit. I admit, I've kind of let the karambit fall into disrepair. Fuck it. Oh, is that why those beauty gurus always put their hand in front of the thing? It's not that small. Come on. It's it's okay. It's not that small. It's kind of small. But dude, legit, this is probably my favorite artwork since... Since that one, like, wood-burning thing of me with the bow. I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. All right, I really got to hurry this up or I'm never going to finish this episode. This one is from Corey from Ottawa? Ottawa? Uh, Awata Awatana? I don't know, Minnesota, I think. God bless the post person who had to read that. Oh, shoot. What the? Is this a freaking. Oy vey. Oy vey. No way. How do I make it do? Where the heck is the little thing? Is this it? I could be entirely wrong. This could be a drawer slide, but to me, it looks like. A hidden blade. The hidden blade you freaking guys have been asking me for for, for years, but I never did it because I didn't wanna. And now it's here. Maybe. If, unless this is a drawer slide. Dear Eli, your channel is one of the best and you've inspired me to build things as, and c congrats on getting over half a million subs. Oh shoot, this was from a while ago then. Oh no. Oh, I thought my tattoo came off on my sweater. This is a pretty nice sweater, huh? I got it from the Reebok store for 50% off. Um, um, take the two strings and put them through the D-ring and put it on your thumb. What? I'm confused, but I think it's like gravity operated. Like, hold on. Oh shoot, what was that? Hey. What the heck? Get in. Did I break it? Boy! What did I do? Oh! Ah! Wait, what? Well. Hum. Maybe it's not the hidden blade you guys were waiting for for years, but nah. Who am I kidding? I probably just messed up. Sorry, bro. For all your successes, your main mistake was sending it to a dumb guy. I'm confused why you use this kind of string, though. It's so snappy. <clears throat> Such is the story of being a person who makes stuff. It's always like, here's this really cool thing that I made, but I'm the only one that can actually use it because if anyone else tries to use it, it'll break. Story of my life, dude. I understand. And I apologize for snapping the strings off. Very cool concept though. Thank you very much, Corey. Heck did my knife go? Ah, I said I have to hurry and then I didn't. Ooh, this one's from Canada, from Clay Hunter. I'm going to Canada the day after tomorrow. Oy vey. 
Menards? Wow, this is like Eli candy. What does that mean? Menard? Wait, I'm not even wearing a Menards hat right now. Menards Sour Patch Kids? It's spelt weird. I know they're candy, but what else is about them? Ooh, they smell the bomb. As expected, all the Sour Patch Kids from outside of America are always better than the ones here. America's gotta kick up their candy game. Man, those things are freaking good. All right, I've got a uh, knife shape. Got some money. Boy, you think I'm poor? And a letter. Dear Eli, my name is Clay. I'm from Nibu, Canada. I've been subscribed to your channel for about a year and a half. I really enjoy your build videos, and they've inspired me to build a few cool weapons. Spear, two knives, axe, club, and shield. <gasps> In the envelope are Canadian one and two dollar coins and a template for a knife that I designed. You can make a knife with it, uh, but I know you're a busy man, so you don't have to. Sincerely, Clay from Canada. In a very subtle but tasteful usage of these nuts. I'm 13, here's also some Sour Patch Kids in the envelope, I just forgot about them. Well that's cool buddy, maybe I'll buy like a moose or something while I'm up there. Mooses are like three dollars there, right? Here you got a lot of them. Well thank you very much sir. Uh, this one is from Salamander, Salamander Work? Salamander Workshop, that makes almost more sense. <laughs> Oy vey, a knife. Oh wow, this is like stout. That's the only word I can use to describe this. It's real, it's very thick. Cool shape though, it kind of reminds me of like a cheese knife. There's a heck of a lot of stuff in here. How do I do this? Ooh, ooh, ooh. A lot of hardware going on in here. To the alpha. This is pretty sweet. He's got a whole bunch of pictures of like the projects that he's done. Um, I do happen to remember Azog looking a little uh, different. Hey, I recognize that from somewhere. My crotch. Let's see what he's got to say for himself. Dear Eli, I've been a long time subscriber of yours and I've always appreciated your enthusiasm, creativity, and work, uh, and consistency that you put out your videos. <laughs> yeah, this must have been from a long time ago. You have been one of the people that's inspired me to make a workshop and other weapons woodworking. There is a annoying bird outside right now. I'm really sorry about that. I'm gonna go try to kick him out of the thing. And if things get violent, you know, what can I say? It's my livelihood. Oh, <laughs> I totally forgot I had the tattoo. I thought I had caught AIDS while I was out there or something. Dang bird gave me AIDS. This was actually his first ever knife that he made. Well, it's an honor to have it now. <laughs> not bad, not bad. These are actually pretty similar to the ones that I made. These two, actually. This one's pretty, pretty fresh, pretty neat. Well, thanks for sharing your creations with me, sir. I appreciate it a lot. This one is from Ohio, and it has a little letter. <laughs> Well, it seems like there was a coin in there. There was a coin in there. Some coins. At face value, I don't see any significance. But let's read the letter. I appear to have ripped it in half a little bit. Let's try to excavate the other half. Ooh. Okay, so it appears that he didn't mean to have the letter sticking out of it like that. It was just like some coins in there angled at a weird way that made it stuck in there. I thought he was just a forerunner in the field of packaging. Okay. there. Seems like there's like a couple bucks and change. Hey Eli, sorry that my handwriting is crap, but whatever, uh, you can probably still read it. I saw that some peeps started to send stuff to you, so I just had a great idea. What if I could send you one of my leather working necklaces? Hmm. I totally probably spelled necklace wrong. Anyways, I'll send uh, it without paint and stain and you can color it to your liking. I'll just keep sending more packages. Walter, let's see what you got, Walter. <laughs> Well, we got some ramen, all right. Can't complain about that. What is this, a little, one of those little honey wands? It looks like a little honey wand. It's cool, but what? Hey, this looks like I could cut my finger off with it. It's a, uh, ooh, like a little butterfly knife type of thing. Ow, <laughs> it already poked me. Look, a little constructive criticism. You might want to put like a wall on the outside right here so that when you close it, it doesn't, you know, poke in your hand. That's pretty cool though, dude. The blade is definitely not the worst I've ever seen. Done a little work with some rivets right there. Pretty cool, dude, pretty cool. Hey, right, that's pretty handy. Little multi-tool, little screwdriver, some uh, Allen keys and stuff. Brass pipe. All right, all right, not opposed to this. What is it? <laughs> oh, that's cool. Little solar panel. Look what kind of voltage that puts out. A Jolly Rancher. It's a little sticky. It kind of melted a little out here. 
Did I read that letter wrong? Wasn't there supposed to be a leather working necklace in there? Well, that would be pretty unfortunate if it happened to have fallen out at some point. But solid package anyways, dude. I can't say I ever expected to receive ramen and alpha mail. Not the worst thing I've ever gotten, though. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Boy, Bay, this is gonna take a long time, dude. I gotta go super speed. Yeah. Oh, shoot. This definitely took a heck of time to do. It's a little monkey's fist. Dear Eli, my name is Ian Ingram. I definitely got a letter from you before, dude. You might recognize the name because this is the second time I'm sending you a packet. Nailed it. The first time I sent you a sad excuse for a melee weapon that I made on my YouTube channel. Oh, it's probably that one battle machete, I think. Unless it wasn't, then sorry to whoever made the battle machete. I didn't, I didn't mean that was a pork, you, you know what I mean. What you see in this package is actually a, pro, a product of, what you see in this package is actually a product. Why can't I say that? What you see in this package is actually a product of mine that I manufacture and sell myself as a small business. I use my YouTube channel to market my products and I can say that without you, I don't know if I would uh, get half of the sales I do today. I don't really remember what his channel was called, but maybe if you search Ian Ingram, you'll be able to find it. Let's see what happens if I whack a punching bag. Alright, so I assume this is kind of like nunchucks, where if you don't follow through, it'll like whack you in the arm. Oy vey, let's do this. Whoa, that swung back at me even still. Oh shoot. Oh! Uh, maybe this way? Ow! Hit me in the arm. Maybe down? Ah! This thing's spooky, dude. Oh shoot. Oh! Ah. Ow! That Okay. Constructive criticism? Constructive criticism, maybe put it on the end of like a stick. Something like that, you know? I mean, longer than that so it can't reach your hand. But I think that would be a little less painful to use, if you know what I mean. Dang, I keep on walking past this thing and getting stoked about it. Anyways, dude, that thing definitely took at least a long time to make. So I really appreciate you sending that one to me for free. I don't know who this is from. Caden Berger. Welcome to Good Burger Homo, the Good Burger can not take your order. What is this? <laughs> That's adorable. Not in like a condescending way, this is... You, you guys will see. Where the heck did I put my camera? He made me a 600,000 subscriber play button out of a, uh, out of a shoe box. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Or, or a girl, I don't know who it is yet. Hello, Eli, you're one of my favorite YouTubers ever. I love your personality, uh, your videos, and how nice you are. Keep up the good work. I hope to do YouTube one day. And since I don't think you have a play button, I made one for you. Uh, I hope you like it. By the way, my name is Kaden. It's okay if you pronounce it wrong. I also don't have a big forehead. Oh, <laughs> also you don't have a big forehead. When I saw the trailer for Dead Rising Endgame, I was like, copycats? Oh, he's talking about that one thing, Crackle, I think made this uh, Dead Rising movie. And they had this uh, saw blade battle axe that was like a like a blatant ripoff of the one that I made. Like, it's not it's not even like questionable. Like everything about the design is exactly what I've done, but whatever, that that stuff's gonna happen. People are, people are really something out there. Also, you inspire me to think even more creatively. Like, you gave me ideas for weapons, uh, have a good day. You're friend Kaden. P.S. You're awesome. Well, thanks, dude. I really appreciate it. I do have a 100,000 subscriber play button, uh, but I'm thinking I'll put this one right next to it. And hey, I think gold is coming pretty soon. I'm at, what, 680,000 subscribers? Any day now. 
I appreciate it, Caden. Thanks a lot. This one is from Justin from here in Illinois. Oh, what the heck? What the heck? Did I open this wrong? Full of all this fuzz. Oh, shoot. It's gonna get everywhere. Oi, bae. <sighs> oh. Seabull sea sea knife and sword? Well, it's cool as heck, I'll say that much. <clears throat> wow, that is the weirdest packaging I've ever seen, though. Yo, ZNA Productions, my name is Justin Sibolski from Seabull at Seabull Knife and Sword on my... Hmm. Well, you know what? Look, I'll read this. Yo, ZNA Productions, my name is Justin Sibolski or Seabull Knife and Sword. My YouTube channel is Unique Knives and Sword. Sorry I can't send you candy or money, but I send a thing with a skull and crossbones. I would love to work with you. You have no idea I have no idea how to contact you. I also sent a sword to Zombie Go Boom. I don't know how you can help me see that sword on Zombie Go Boom. PS look up Seabull Knife and Sword on YouTube. Now look, I'm not leafy. I don't expect you guys to go to this guy's channel and say any sort of mean stuff. Like, in fact, if you want to go to his channel and support him, that'd be really cool and everything. But but Alpha Male is not for you to send me things just to promote your channel. I mean, like, if you're gonna send me like a cool T-shirt or something like that that has to do with your channel, and you put like a letter in there that's like meaningful and everything, that's cool. But I mean, please don't, you know. Don't look at alpha male as a way to promote yourself, is what I'm saying. This is for subscribers, this is for people that care about the channel, it's for fans, dare I say. I'm not I'm not mad or anything, just please don't be don't do stuff like that. Sorry, this one is from uh, Fletcher from Thousand Oaks, California. Oh wow. There's some blacksmithing going on here, huh? Bit of a tomahawk, I see. I don't know why this reminds me of a weapon that that uh, that one tall guy with the skinny legs from uh, from Dead by Daylight would use. This definitely looks like a horror weapon, like a like a serial killer type of thing. Hey Eli, my name is Fletcher Kenyon. I'm 15 years old. I live in Southern California. A few months back, I stumbled on your videos and YouTube and immediately binged watched all of them. As I always say, I highly suggest you do that. I've always enjoyed making and collecting weapons such as sword. Swords? When did I start saying swords? Such as swords, knives, and getting into blacksmithing thanks to you and my wonderful friends and family. Ooh, wow, cool. It even says ZNA on the back of it. Dang. <laughs> it says, money for your new house. If you guys didn't know, I am saving up for a house. My hoodie and t-shirt sales go to that. Dang, dude. Oh, you got two of those, huh? Dude, no joke, I really like the style of your weapons. It's like really, uh, like really tribal. That's really cool, dude. <laughs> nice. That's a pretty sick mask you got there. Is it made out of something? <laughs> Why am I turning it to the side like I can see the side of your face better? Well, whatever it is, it's freaking cool. Oh, nice. Is this for the duck drawing competition? That's pretty sweet, dude. I appreciate it. All right, on to the big stuff. Oh, no, it's this fuzzy stuff again. Oh, jeez. Who invented this packaging, dude? Oh my gosh, what the heck? Oh, jeez. It's so weird. I've never gotten packages packaged in this stuff before, and then I get two of them out of nowhere. <sighs> Wait, that wouldn't even make sense. This can't be from last Christmas. Maybe this is for this Christmas? Hey. Nice little placard. Is that the right word, placard? I don't see a letter in there. Cool thing though, dude. Appreciate it. I always get excited when I see Amazon packages. I don't understand why Amazon ships tiny things in such giant boxes though. Ew, a bug. Ew, a bug! Ooh, I killed him dead, dude. Is this spaghetti? Hi Eli, I'm claiming the title of spaghetti sauce. Oh. <laughs> 
I don't know if it was the last one or like the one before or something, but there was this uh, this guy who I opened his package and I said it smelled like spaghetti sauce in there. And I guess I also did that a time before that. So I guess he just sent me actual spaghetti. That's hilarious. I wonder if it's some high quality spaghetti at least, dude, come on. I'm just kidding, I'm no spaghetti connoisseur. This looks like good spaghetti though. <laughs> That's so funny, dude. Well, thanks, I appreciate it. Good 16 ounces of spaghetti, not bad, not bad. Am I doing that thing again where my visor is like this? Oh, whoa, good, whoa, whoa. Looking like I'm from the freaking nut shack. These are all about the same size, so I'll go by weight. Okay, this one first. This one is, oh, that's a lot of squigglies. <laughs> Oy vey, it's from Bangkok, Thailand. Oh shoot, this might be, I don't remember any of the other places I got stuff from, but this would be one of the farthest places I've got it from. Can I get a pair of shoes? Is this shoes? Oh, no, there's other cool stuff though. Hmm, it seems to be numbered. Oh my gosh, it goes up to six at least. There's one. Ooh. Ooh. Bangkok stuff. Watermelon flavored chewy milk candy. Milk? I don't know how I feel about that sitting out here for the last few months. Icebreaker sours. These are always going to be good no matter what. Dang. I got some legit porn candy today, huh? Creamy colon. Oh, I keep forgetting I had that thing. Got some good cream colon. Great for your digestion, I guess. Stuff looks good as heck. It seems to be pushed open. Let's see what we're working with here. Boy, babe. Whoa, that is a good smelling thing. Shoot, dog. It's a lot like those uh, those wafer sticks that you put in your ice cream or your coffee. That is good as heck. I don't know if that was the first thing I'm supposed to open, though. Oh no, I can feel the neck fupa coming back. Whoa. <laughs> a lot of medical supplies. Bunch of band-aids, gauze, Q-tips? Q-tips for rabbits. More band-aids. Cotton balls as heck. Hey, that's cool. Relieves really muscular pain, huh? Was this like tiger balm or something? Analgesic balm. Solid package so far. It is number three. Oi, seems we have a charcoal drawing. Wow. Oh, shoot. Dang, man, that is cool. I've done charcoal drawings before, so I know that this is like, this is hard to do. I'll, I'll tell you that. Nice, that is sick, man. Oh, well, I found number one. It says, don't you dare rip it, flip the other side. Pull up. Wow, this is some hecka complex letter opening. Wow. Dear Z not Alpha. This is a lot of letters. Dear Zed Not Alpha, my name is May, pronounced as May. I'm from Bangkok, Thailand. I am 17 years old, and yes, I'm a girl. I started watching, I don't, okay. <laughs> I started watching your videos in February and have since been obsessed with them. You are really good at what you do, and also very funny. I love the way you deal with haters and negative comments, which is head on. I also love your sarcasm and your voice acting. As for myself, I don't make weapons like you because I don't have the money, tools, or skills. However, I do make arts from other forms. I actually have a YouTube channel, Mei, Mei Kyang Siri, where I make videos of time lapses of making gifts for people. Whether it's a little craft or painting or drawing, I also cover songs and post them on SoundCloud. Okay, sorry guys, I kind of really messed this one up. I was supposed to open this one first and then like, as I read the letter I'm like there's like numbers for me to open the things in I really hecked that one up anyways thanks for making these videos you're an awesome human being I love you more than ice cream uh, sorry for the really long letter I hope you like the drawing and uh, find the first aid kit useful with all love and respect may Kang Siri PS no I didn't forget your candy enjoy I found the candy thank you very much uh oh another letter you thought that was the end, huh? Story time. I'm writing this a couple weeks after I wrote my main letter, so don't get confused. Well, I did it. I made my first knife, a wooden knife, but it still counts. I did it in a week at school because there was a workshop for wood. I always like it when I hear that kids are using their workshop to make like weapons and stuff like that. It just seems funny to me. Cause like once upon a time that might be considered like a really bad thing, but now it's like, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's my own confirmation bias from seeing it everywhere, but it seems like making weapons is like a legitimate form of creativity at this point. Like, you can do it without scaring people is what I mean. There's so many letters, dude. Okay, how, <laughs> there's, it's a, this one, what the heck? This one's number one, but this one says read first. 
and then it says don't open the letters until I say look guys you gotta realize I'm really dumb like I, I'm smart in a way but I'm pretty dumb when it comes to I'm rushing okay guys you know what I'm saying I'm sorry I screwed it up I screwed it all up well here look here's the wooden knife that she made it's actually pretty sweet that handle is pretty dank not bad at all well I didn't cut anything sorta of. I cut some stuff I cut the box open but I don't think I messed up that bad I got it all out of order and everything but it didn't seem like maybe it needed to be in order sorrow anyways thanks sorry for the tenth time that i messed up the order of everything but still a solid package anyways i really appreciate it and these are some good creamy colons too all right boy babe definitely this one first oh shoot dog that's some candy if i ever seen it Oh, shoot. You guys got to see this. It's a baseball bat with freaking one, two, three, four saw blades on it. It's the weirdest thing how the more saw blades you can put on something, the cooler it gets. I'm going to try that with my with my uh, child one day. See how many saw blades you can fit on a baby. Dear Eli, I was recently on vacation in Germany to visit family and decided I would stop by uh, a spa to buy you some candy. Is that like a gas station? I also included a BB pellet gun target of my own design. There's a how-to video on my YouTube channel. That's pretty much it. Where the heck is that thing now? Oh my gosh, there's so much candy in here, dude. Where's the thing though? Whoa. Am I missing something? Well, he says multiple times that he would like it if I could uh, check out his YouTube channel, but I don't, <laughs> he doesn't say what his YouTube channel is. That's funny. a mosquito alive it's like 40 degrees outside idiot think he's doing don't you know you're supposed to die what a moron you didn't even die when he's supposed to i can be that dumb anyways dude thanks for the package sorry i don't know what your youtube channel is all right guys the biggest kahuna of all the kahunas by weight not volume oh shoot this thing is packed dog oh, i opened it upside down this could go wrong it was at this exact moment that he knew, he or he didn't know, he he hecked up though, and um, well, I hecked up. This is me. I'm uh, editing right now. It's uh, 5.37 a.m. Uh, I haven't gone to bed yet. Uh, I w I'm really tired. I want to go to sleep, but I can't. I got to finish this uh, editing right now, and um... I just don't know how I'm going to keep on doing this. It's It seems like as hard as I try, I can't make consistent videos anymore. And I don't even know if anybody's still watching this video. And I don't know. It's it's just been really frustrating. <laughs> wow. Time to get the little camera. Where did you get this tool belt for babies? There's an N or something. Another tool belt for babies? Come on. What are you saying I'm a baby? Sure. Hey, life. First of all, this note will be short and sweet. Hey, life. First of all, this note will be short and sweet while the other... Ugh! Hey Eli, this note will be short and sweet, while the other one in the envelope will be kind of long, so you can save it for later. Anyways, uh, we love your channel, and we've almost finished all of your videos. You're so funny, and you're such a hard worker. That's why we put together a goodie box, with a bunch of random stuff in it. Uh, we hope you enjoy it all. Have an awesome day, and thank you for all the laughs and videos. Anthony Gonzalez and Elizabeth Salgado, from Dallas, Texas. What the heck is that thing? Dude, how many days would it take me to go through all this stuff? Holy moly. All right. Paracord, always good. Lush, fresh, handmade cosmetics. <laughs> they got me a bath bomb. My my bathtub is a little... I would I would have to clean it before, before I did a bath bomb. Maybe that's the smell coming out of here because it smells heck of good in here. Okay. Two whole bags of Sour Patch Kids. I'm down. Dang, a clown pop? You guys are spoiling me. Wow, that's a little racist, huh? Yes, yes. Inflatable bot bag. That's what I've been needing. I'm trying to get in shape, dude. I need an inflatable ninja bot bag. Oh, shoot, what the heck? <laughs> they got me an MRE. Hey, chili with beans. I've literally always... Guys. I've always wanted to try these. U.S. government property commercial resale is unlawful. How do you get them? Well, I'm eating it anyways. Even if it's illegal chili and beans. Ooh, what's this? Tahim. Tahim. Tahim.
Team Lucas Chamoy. I mean, whatever it is, it looks delicious. And like a juice version of it. Oh shoot, this cup full of stuff. Ooh, I need a new battery. Oh shoot, I forgot the bottom was cut out. Ooh, that was close. All right, so this cup has more things in it. Chocolate flavored, artificially flavored wafer with artificial chocolate coating. The, the artificial stuff's always better anyways. Ooh, my grandma used to give me these all the time. These things are freaking awesome. If you have never tried these before, I do it. <laughs> Got some sick Batman band-aids. Do these band-aids? Wheat flour wafers, what? I'll try those later. Ooh, gonna get some hyphy mud going on in here. One magic towel. Perfect. I've been needing a magical towel. <laughs> if you say so. It's lotion and body wash. Okay. All right then. Wow, where'd you get a drill for babies? Come on. Cool, cool. First aid kit. Some more candy. Guys, you are not being kind of the neck fupa. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you uh, would like to send me some mail, go ahead and do it to P.O. Box 1082 West Chicago, Illinois 60186. If you trust me with anything. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Well. Did I say the P.O. Box? P.O. Box 1082 West Chicago, Illinois 60186, United States of America. Um, I should be back from Canada sometime soon. Uh, ready to get back to making videos for you guys. Uh, but that's about all I got for today's. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.